The Alize family from Afghanistan is having to move. Along with another thousand refugees, they're being forced to leave the home they've known for almost two years at the Karatepe community. Instead, they're being put in a tent city down the road called Mavrovunio. Their 17-year-old daughter, Anis, is a gifted mathematician who beat local Greek students for a place at the island's top high school. Now she doesn't know if she'll be able to sit university entrance exams next year. A tent that does not have a door does not make you feel safe. In Karatepe, we have a container and you can close it when you go to bed at night. They have COVID-19 cases, which we don't have at Karatepe. And I think that will make Greek parents worry about us traveling from the camp to go to school with their children. This Afghan family already lives at Mavrovunio. They say there's no daycare or school for their daughters aged six and nine. Doctors Without Borders say they've had patients raped at the new camp, despite government assurances that it's safe. In the nighttime, uh, you feel too scared to go outside of your tent. Um, certainly, if you're a woman, you will not go to the toilet. Every aspect of this camp, for me, is set up in a way to, to deter people, to to dehumanize them, to, to pretend that they don't have basic human needs. The government didn't allow us to film inside the camp, apparently due to COVID restrictions, but an aid worker confirmed talk of discomfort here. There's no proper drainage, there's no proper heating, there's, um, the electricity is insufficient to keep your tents warm at night. Um, every time it rains, it floods. The um, wash facilities are inadequate. Um, it's not clean. These are the very problems that plagued Moria, the largest camp in the East Aegean. Mavrovunio was set up as a temporary facility after Moria burnt down in September, police say due to arson. Now it feels like a lost civilization, looted for manholes and wire fence. Karatepe feels more like a village community than a refugee camp. And that's why so many disabled and other vulnerable refugees were moved there from Moria. The hastily landscaped artillery range they're going to resembles Moria in many respects. Aid groups say it's a great step backwards. The European Union has poured more than a billion dollars into refugee care in Greece in the past five years and is now spending more than $300 million to build better camps on the Aegean islands. Many of these asylum seekers, now displaced several times over, wonder why Europe, with such resources, cannot offer them a home. John Seropoulos, Al Jazeera, Lesbos.